Good day students, I am going to explain to you how to integrate integral negative 1 to 4 modulus of 5x negative 2 times dx. Now this is a very important question and this integration is not done as we do other integrals. Now foremost let me take this function f of x is equal to modulus of x. Now the way to say this is f of x is equal to modulus of x. Now if you were to draw the graph of this function, this will be hitting at 0 and then it will be moving up. So this is an approximate graph. Now what I want to tell you is for all values of x element of the real line or the real number system, you will only have the graph on the positive side. So that means all values that y will take will only be positive. And this function is defined as follows. f of x is equal to modulus of x will take the value negative x for all values of x less than 0 and f of x is equal to modulus of x will take a positive x for all values of x greater than 0. Now this is the crucial definition that you will have to remember when you are dealing with this particular function. The understanding is this particular number line is divided into two parts one part is to the left of 0, the other part is to the right of 0. Now, so much so for this definition. Now, whenever you are given a question like this with absolute function being involved, you have to understand that your values of x will be divided into two parts. So, this will be part 1 and this will be part 2. So, this division will have to be taken into consideration. We are actually looking to calculate the area. So to obtain the area, we will have to first equate this point 5x negative 2 to equal to 0 and then find the intersecting point on the x-axis. That is all about it, right? Whenever you are given a function, you would like to know the values of x and that is called as the root of the function. So we want to know that particular value. So in this case, 5x is equal to 2 and this would mean x is equal to 2 over 5. So if you were to draw the point, the initial point is given as negative 1, I'll place the point. The final point is given as 4 and this particular point x is equal to 2 over 5. Let me just take this point x is equal to 2 over 5. So this is the intersecting point. Now you have two regions, so one region to the right and the other region to the left. So we have to take this into consideration. Okay, so the area has to be divided into two parts. So that means from negative 1 to 2 over 5 and then this has to be added with 2 over 5 to 4. So that would be the functions. Now how do we get the functional value? Now we have got modulus of 5x negative 2. Now this modulus 5x negative 2 for all values on the left hand side will be equal to negative of 5x negative 2. That is the simplest way to understand and for all values of x on the right hand side this modulus of 5x negative 2 will be positive of 5x negative 2 that's it story done so take this value and substitute here so this is going to be negative parenthesis 5x negative 2 times dx and this is going to be positive you don't have to place a positive sign just place the quantity 5x negative 2 times dx now you have to integrate this so this is going to be negative i'm taking the negative sign out if we were to integrate 5x, that's going to be x squared divided by 2 followed by negative 2 times x. Now you need to substitute the limits. Negative 1 to 2 over 5, that has to be substituted, followed by, in this case, you will get the same thing. 5 times x squared divided by 2, negative 2 times x. The limits will be from 2 over 5 to 4. That's it. Now we will have to get the value. So upper limit minus lower limit. Let me do that over here. I substitute upper limit. So the upper limit is equal to and place a negative sign. So this is 5 over 2. Upper limit is 2 over 5. Right? Substitute that in place of x. So 2 over 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times 2 over 5. So this is upper limit minus the lower limit. What is the lower limit? Negative 1. So this is 5 over 2, negative 1 raised to the power of 2, followed by a negative sign. And uh, when you substitute negative 1, you're going to get 
Okay, let me make the substitution two of negative one. That's it. So I will evaluate this quantity first to be on the safe side. So this is equal to negative five over two. I'm going to write two over five as two multiplied with two, and you get a uh, five multiplied with five. Okay, negative two twos are four over five. So this is the quantity for the upper limit minus the lower limit. So this will be five over two, and negative negative positive. This is going to be two. Okay. So this can be further rewritten as two two can be cancelled here. Five five can be cancelled here. So you're going to get two over five negative four over five. That's the first value followed by a negative sign. Two to the four. That's going to be nine over two. And this can be further rewritten as LCM is five two negative four. That's going to be negative two. You have a negative sign here and negative nine over two. So this is going to be negative of. I'm going to take ten as the LCM. So it's going to give me negative four. This is going to give me eighteen. Uh, two divides here five times. So five nines are forty-five, right? So two and five negative five. Okay. So this is equal to negative of negative forty-nine over ten, which is nothing but positive forty-nine over ten, right? That is the evaluation for this quantity. That's, that's really a quite a bit. Now we will have to evaluate this quantity. It's uh, upper limit minus lower limit. So what I wish to do is let me go to the new page and evaluate this. So upper limit is four. So five over two, four squared, negative two times four minus lower limit five over two times two over five times two over five. And negative two times of two over five. So this is equal to. I'm writing it as five over two, four into four minus four times two eight. Negative two two can be cancelled. Five five can be cancelled. So you get two over five. Negative four over five. So two divides here. Two times five times ten. Uh, five times two is ten. Ten times four is forty. Negative eight. Negative. LCM is five. Two negative four is negative two. So this is going to be thirty-two negative negative positive two over five. I take the LCM as five. Five times two ten fifteen sixteen positive two one sixty-two five. So this is what for the second part. So you need to add these two parts. So the first part got me forty-nine over ten. The second part got me one sixty-two over five. I take the LCM as ten. I get forty nine positive two two are four six two are twelve one two ones are two three. So you add, you get thirteen, and one six seven three seven three divided by ten, which is nothing but thirty seven point three units. So this is actually area, so it's square units. So this is the area that we got when the function took the value five x negative two. and i have shown you the process of integration if you have any questions or concerns please put them in the comment box and until we meet again thank you students